And if you're into lighting and you'd like to change the look of your scene with one single click, then Better Lighting version 2 from Cassie Sheep is now available. This simply allows you to create that incredible looking lighting that you want for your scene. And the cool thing is this now comes with a couple of interesting presets and an easy to use Pi Menu UI that allows you to control all of your light fixtures all at once directly within your viewport without going to the properties editor. And for those who like to try this out, then you can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you right here where you can start exploring it. And with that said, let's dive directly into Blender and see how this actually works. So Blender simply opened up right here. How you get to work with this is extremely easy. All you need to do is go over to edit, go over to preference and install the add-on. And once you install the add-on, you can now save your preference and close your window. If we tap N on the keyboard, you would notice that we have the better lighting right here. And like we mentioned earlier, this comes with presets and all those presets are highly animatable. So we're simply going to just go ahead and add a few elements in our scene and test out this lighting tool. Now with the elements here, how we can play with this is very simple. So by default, we've already mentioned that you do have a couple of presets. These presets and the way the light behaves are dependent on the rendering engine you're using. So at this point, if we simply switch to Eevee, what we'll be getting will be pretty different. And the same thing can be said if we switch over to Cycles. So for this example, we're simply going to switch over to Cycles. And from here, we can click, select any of the ones we want. Say for example, we would like to have this. We can simply select that, click on import and position this where we want it to be. And once you do that, switch over to your rendering engine. There you have it. We can switch this over to GPU and zoom all the way out and take a look at what we have. And by default, these presets are all animated. So at any point in time, you're working with them and you just like to see these things animated. You can go ahead and press the playback button and see the light textures animating. More so, you can definitely go all the way down to the animation, increase the animation if you want, play with the strength of the animation, reduce that of course if you want, and you can choose to also play with the seed and get some cool stuff working. And we can do exactly the same thing with the other light presets. So just in case you're also feeling excited about playing with the colors and also making some parameter changes, these are super possible and you can go ahead and work with them. And with all of the presets that you have here, you can simply go ahead and add that beauty to your scene with one simple click. And working with the pie menu is extremely easy. And for this, we're going to load in a new scene, which will beautify with a couple of assets from the folks at Polygonic. Now by default, you do have something like this. Of course, you can go ahead and start playing with it, playing with the light. And most of the times for you to have access to these things, you need to go over to the properties section. But in this case, for you to have access to the light and actually tweak them, all you need to do is to hold on control and left click. And once you do that, get your hands off control and you can simply hover around and make modifications to whatever thing you want. So in this case, I can drop down the power of the light if I want, and I can also repeat the same action and change the color of the light. This also works with a better lighting preset. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and select this preset, click on import, and we have this right here. I can position this wherever I want it to be. And once I let go, you can see what we have. And of course, you can now see how this just simply transforms our scene. So if we hold down control on the keyboard and left click, we now have even more parameters that we can play with. In this case, I can drop down the strength if this is what I want. And we can repeat the same action and proceed to change the color. Other things that we can do with this includes playing with the effect details, which deals with the scale and also the seeding. And for our final example, we're going to take a look at this, which are a set of models from the folks at Polyheaven. So in this case, what we would like to look at is having access to multiple lights. So you can create as many lights as you can, and you can also use the multi-pipe menu to control them. So in this case, we do have these if for any reason we don't want the rays to be visible to a particular channel, what we can do is to hold down the control key, left click, and for example, we can turn off the fuse. The same thing can happen with this other one. So we can hold down the control key, left click, and turn off the diffuse as well. So all we have that is light in this scene is the light coming from this preset light and the light coming from the gloss. So if we have this selected and we proceed to hold down control, left click, and turn off gloss, you notice that we lose that light. The same thing can happen here as well. 
So in this case, you now have a lot of possibilities in working with tools like this. So from camera all the way to transmission, down to volume scatter, you can control where and where the rays of the slides gets visible. And at any point in time, you can definitely go into the slides, make some changes, switch the parameters however you want, and create the stunning look that you're going for. So this is it. The better lighting version 2 from Cassie Ship is now available and for anyone who would like to grab this, you can simply go over to the link in the description and check this out. It is also worth mentioning that Cassie Ship has a couple of interesting things you might also want to consider grabbing and recently they've actually done a bundle which contains 5 interesting add-ons that they have which you can save on once you get it. Links to all of this are going to be in the description so do well to check them out. And of course a huge shout out to Cassie Ship for making this possible. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.